It's essentially about bringing them out of themselves. So it's all about the fun. So when we do the warm-ups, we're doing the high fives, we're making sure they're talking, and they really are blossoming. I'm Dylan Hartley, I'm down here at Medway Rugby Club to talk to husband and wife team Matt and Kate who set up Medway and Kent's first mixability rugby team, the Cannons. Talk me through that, how did that come about? So we were at the Twickenham Awards last year for volunteer recognition and we were listening to all the awards and teams and clubs that were winning some marvellous things and one of the clubs that stepped up were talking about the mixability provision that they had at their club and we just had a chat to them about what mixability was, how they'd set it up, you know, what they got out of it, what their club thought. We then went back, sat at our table, looked at each other and said, we need to do that at Medway. Next day, spoke to Kate, said, we've just been inspired, we think we should be doing mixability at Medway, would you be up for it, leading it? And she said, absolutely, and then that's how it happened. We've got a team of adults with learning difficulties or physical disabilities or also disabilities that you can't necessarily see. So, you know, we've got someone that's turned up that's deaf just in one ear, but that's inclusive of what mixed ability rugby is. So it can be any kind of disability as long as it doesn't prevent them from being able to physically play. What's really important here is, is you guys are here for why I started playing the game. It's the, the enjoyment, the friendships, the bonds that you create and the experience that you guys are having today. It's clear to see that you all love it, yeah? yeah. They're having a great time, right? Is that something that you try and focus on and drive? Only that. Only that. The rugby is important because we're playing rugby, that's the deal. Their whole lives, most of them, they've been crushed down and held back and today we're just trying to bring it out. And their self-esteem is just through the roof and it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. I've, I've noticed with him, he comes out of his shell. Yeah. Don't you, Rems? Yeah. Yes, boys, love that. Five players to start with. What have you grown to now? How, how many numbers have we got as a team? I think most weeks we get about 25. Brilliant. Yeah. Energy levels up, they're obviously enjoying it. That's the best thing about it, though, is just seeing the enjoyment on their faces. You know, if we've had a bad week at work <coughs> or, you know, if life's getting a bit stressful, coming here on a Saturday morning is therapy. It, you know, there's constant giggles, isn't there, and laughter. What about you guys? What have you learned from coaching the Cannons? Loads of things, really. I think the first thing is, is that disabled players are just players, they're just people, and there's no barrier, and, and you might feel embarrassed or awkward if you see a disabled person you might not want to go over and introduce yourself or interact with them and for me coaching mixed ability has broken that barrier down completely and, and that's been like amazing. So we've got a couple of players that can't speak and communicate so you have to think about what you're doing differently in terms of your coaching style and, and, and trying to feedback. You can't expect anything so you've just got to start from the beginning and, and go through it and have a lot of patience because it's absolute chaos. One, two, three, clear!